Good morning, viewers. Be this year. That's the breaking news. Yes, Honorable PM Narendra Modi concludes the 2024 Lok Sabha elections, reflecting on India's progress and potential, urging for unity and dedication towards a developed India by 2047. The biggest festival of democracy, the 2024 Lok Sabha elections, are concluding today in our nation. The mother of democracy, after a three-day spiritual journey in Kanyakumari, I have just boarded the plane for Delhi. Through the day, Kashi and numerous other seats have been in the midst of voting. My mind is filled with so many experiences and emotions. I feel a boundless flow of energy within myself. The 2024 Lok Sabha elections are the first in the Amrit Kal. I began my campaign a few months ago from Merat, the land of the first war of independence of 1857. Since then, I have traversed across the length and breadth of our great nation. The final rally of these elections took me to Hasiarpur in Punjab, the land of the great Gurus and a land associated with Sant Rabidas Ji. After that, I came to Kanna Kumari at the feet of Ma Bharti. It is natural that the favor of the elections was echoing in my heart and mind. The multitude of faces seen in rallies and roadshows came in front of my eyes. The blazings from our Nari Shakti, the trust, the affection, all of this was a very humbling experience. My eyes were getting most. I entered into a sadhana, meditative state. And then the heated political debates, the attacks and counter attacks, the voices and words of acquisitions which are so characteristics of an election, they all vanished into a vivid. A sense of detachment came to grow with me. My mind became completely detached from the external world. Meditation becomes challenging amid such as responsibilities, but the land of Kanna Kumari and the inspiration of Swami Vivekananda made it effortless. As a candidate myself, I left my campaign in the hands of my beloved people of Kasi and came here. I am also grateful God for installing me with these values from birth which I have cherished and tried to live up to. I was also thinking about what Swami Vivekananda must have experienced during his meditation at this place in Kanyakumari. A part of my meditation was spent in a similar stream of thoughts. Amidst this detachment, amidst the peace and silence, my mind was constantly thinking about the bright future of Bharat. Behind this exclusive report.